I think uh, it brings uh, some ethics, some principles uh, back to uh, democratic values, uh, freedom uh, values, you know. Uh, we've missed some of the uh, ethics and principles in this area uh, during the Donald Trump's uh, reign. Uh, also, we, we hope that it will bring some balance in the uh, Palestinian issue because uh, Donald Trump was working 100% in favor of Israel and not trying to find any a true solution to the Palestinian problem, you know. So uh, I think it uh, presents also an opportunity to the Palestinians to wake up and present uh, a serious leadership that can uh, obtain peace because they, after now they, you cannot uh, say that the Palestinian leadership uh, uh, was all there, you know. So it brings some new waves of hope, of trust, of uh, good principles, you know. Because we in, the, in this area, we believe that uh, the Trump administration has been totally biased and has not been really working for a uh, for a fair uh, solution of this uh, dilemma that's been there for 50 years. You know. Nikib, when you think about Egypt specifically, do you see a change in policy coming from the United States under a Biden presidency? Because we've heard him talk tough in the past, uh, not just on Egypt, but on Saudi Arabia and, and open the door to Iran. So what does this mean, do you think, for, for uh, President Sisi when it comes to human rights and all of the things that in the past he's gone after? I think uh, in, in any case, whether uh, we should adhere to all the principles of human rights and uh, freedom and and uh, and uh, to be uh, a model in the in this part of the world, you know. So uh, a Biden uh, administration uh, will look favorably against every positive move we make towards uh, more freedom, more uh, freedom of speech, um, allowing more uh, opposition to to speak. So uh, I'm optimistic that this is a good move, and it will help Egypt in the next stage. You know. It, the only thing you should know about Egypt, we were coming up from a very bad situation because the Muslim Brotherhood's uh, regime left us in shambles, uh, had destroyed our economy, had uh, uh, started a wave of, uh, of terror and, uh, in Sinai and burning churches and destroying a lot of things. So it was a very difficult time to overcome. But now with the stability we have now in Egypt, the prosperity of the economy is doing very well, I think. A move towards more democratic values will be appreciated first by the Egyptians and then also by uh, the new U.S. administration.